Hello, and welcome to, hopefully, the finale of The Mark of Kree. I'm really excited to get this game done. Not only because I want to actually finish it, but I also want to start another game. And I also want to just leave this place, because this place I hate. Oh, hello, this looks ominous. Those things were jerks. But it's a big, super ominous door. <gasps> Are we at the end? I can't jump up there, can I? I just need to fight, don't I? I need to fight through the waves until his men come down so I can jump jump up there. It would be my guess. But, oh my god, it is the end of the level. I would assume so anyway. You know, actually being excessive like that at this point is actually a bad thing. Ow. Because it gives the enemy a chance to freely hit me. No. I want to get to a more centralized location. Oh. See, I killed enough of those low-level ones that they start to get better ones in here. I do hope there isn't an archer section, though. That would be very disappointing. And circle time. And square time. Mark you as the new square. Hit the circle now, because he's closer. Why did I suddenly unmark everybody? Well, they they spawned in swords again now, so I'm guessing it's because they had a army switch or something. I'd like to point out that... <clears throat> I'd like to point out that army switch really just screws with you. Okay, that's good enough. Like, let's have him unmark everybody so that way he can get injured pretty easily. What you doing, buddy? Let's go collect some health while I can. Okay, now we got Axemen. Not what I wanted to hear. Ow. Remember how I said I didn't want to hear that there was Axemen? This is why. Ow. No, I think I think I need to do this. Or not. Uh, dude, allow me 
to move. Thank you. Let's try this. Hit somebody before I get even more murdered, please. Thank you. The war axe does massive amounts of damage, just extremely slow. I think the spear is the nice balance between the war axe and the sword. Uh. I like how... Oh, by the way, let's quickly unmark them. Quickly unmark them and apparently get so surrounded I'm getting hit by everybody. You know what, let's take this back out. Because I do way too much damage for this to not be what I'm using at this point. However, the fact that I'm already fairly beat up is not that good. Ow. Please. Please hit him before he hits you. Okay, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Okay, now it's those three and everybody else. Of course, it couldn't just be the, just those three and end up being mini bosses. No, there has to be the swarm as well. Go away, please. No, back. guys, I know the goal is to kill you guys, but you guys are being really difficult. You know, staying next to the... Ow. I don't entirely know what I was supposed to do. Like, that is extremely... Can I... No, I can't. Like, this is extremely difficult. Like, just killing an X amount for the next phase to go on would seem pretty easy, but it's really not. I think the key is to swing at the furthest target. I know that doesn't make sense, but swing at the furthest target, and you'll hit a lot of targets on your way to that target. And the more you're surrounded, the more damage you'll do. I'm, I'm trying to think of how to actually do this bloody thing. Like, look at that. Look at how much armor I knocked out while trying to swing at this guy. Okay, that's that first section done. Now start swinging at this one. I just randomly changed who I was targeting, and that really helped, actually. So this basically become a berserker, is what this is section is telling you. Become Mr. Berserk.
However, if they get close to the walls, forget about it. See, this is going much better. He says as they unmark and, Im and immediately get knocked down for the first time in the section. See, I am just killing guys left and right and center. I don't forget about the center. I purposely don't want to collect that just yet. He says as he get knock gets knocked down again. Wee, 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 there you go. That's how you do it. Yep, see, I killed one and it immediately goes to the next phase. So it's literally just kill enough for it to go to the next phase, from what I can tell. But now it should be Axeman, which is not... That's no point of If I can kill one right off the bat, though... Just keep swinging, just keep swinging, just keep swinging all the time. Never stop, can't stop, won't stop, gotta dance with the pole axe, with the axe, with the sword, with the spear. I have no clue what I'm saying. I'm just trying to say something. Well, you got decapitated because you you got decapitated because you were in the way. I think it's time to collect that and I was really hoping to step away from the wall. He's backing up like, whoa, I'm not sure I want to be here. I mean, I just got back to the land of the living. I don't want to waste my life like this. I don't blame you. I really wish the undead had better compensation packages. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel quite as bad for murdering. Murdering. But sadly, that is not the case. So you guys, you just have to take it. I mean, it's one thing to be undead. It's another thing to be a henchman in a video game. But if you're an undead who's a henchman in a video game, forget about it. Ain't no union gonna save you from your fate. <laughs> That's for dang sure. See, I was switching my targets to better hit that guy there. And I killed someone else, and that is... I only collected one health thing instead of collecting four and being half... All four and being half dead by this time. Let's immediately... Whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool. Not cool. What? Question. No, 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 no. Why were you guys so... Like, you heavy axemen, so... Aggressive. Non-aggressive before, and now you're super aggressive? Well, now they're not, because I moved away. Here's the problem. I need more health. The closest health is on the other side of the map. Going, 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 going. Gotta get it, 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 gotta get it good. And run, 
in a wide circle. I was. Uh, I swear to God, game. It's like the moment I block. No, you're too late, sucker. Here, lose half of the health you just went to go get. You just got 50%? Well, here's 25% of it gone. Alright, you. Huh? Take. No, 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 no. Take him. Okay. Up next is you. Ow. Look, I know when I'm going to need a swing at other people. I'll say that much. That doesn't mean I'm not going to try and focus on getting the losers. Okay, ow, that was just my everything that you just... No, I didn't want to press the start button. Thank God you didn't knock me down. That's something, at least. No! Why? I was blocking and everything! You guys are really getting on my nerves. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Get your stupid, lazy, piece of crap, undead Patukas out of my face and out of my life. Yay, I beat a flipping challenge. Let's go. Have at you. I swear. Wait, they do stop? Because there's only one flipping guy left. I did not know this. Like, it... It's a... Sw Let me hit you! I swear to God, all all I want to do is at least see see when I see if I can get health after I kill you all. Is that it? I can jump up here. There's no health up here. Rao, <gasps> indeed, you are a mighty warrior. Musu trained you well. I have been watching you. You and I have many things in common. We both lust after greatness. We both relish the taste of battle. And yet, we are both mere pawns in this eternal struggle. Put down your weapon, Rao. Let us together rule this world. Become my general. With you at my side, nothing can stop us. The world will tremble at our might. We will become rulers of... <laughs> well, I mean, it's one way to end it. There isn't even a boss battle. It was just a gauntlet. And so, this story draws to an end. A once dark and powerful magician lay slain to my master's blade, as did his legion of terror. Tati was safe with her brother and the six marks of Cree were once again protected. In time, my master became known throughout the lands as a great and noble warrior. His adventures were many, and his battles grand. As the oracle had prophesied, Rao did in time become a legend. Indeed, his name was spoken to calm children on stormy nights, and I hear one day he did sit with the gods. But all of this is a different story for another time. Now I, Kuzo, his servant and chronicler, must move on. Maybe one day I will tell you another tale. Until then, 
Farewell. <gasps> it was Kuzo all along, although that kind of made sense, his master and everything, but... That's the end of the game! I am very happy to have actually beaten that myself. The end of the game definitely could have used... At, at least a thing that's like, hey, these will eventually stop. I'm not sure if it was just for that end section or what, but just the massive amounts of enemies that you kind of just had to beef through was not exactly the best thing that they could have come up with, I'll be entirely honest. That could have been... That could have been much better if it was me. I would have at least put a little number up in the corner of the map, corner of the screen, telling how many were left in the ground for each room. To give you a gauge of how much you actually needed to kill. Because otherwise it was just a little bit silly. Hey there, crazy eyes. How's it going? Now, I will say there is another game in this series. I might do it. I've never actually played it before, but I might do it. I just would like to play a few games in between that and this. But that was fun. I definitely enjoyed the um, beat em up of the style. What is next? Actually, I'll get to what, is, what might be next in a moment. But I want to talk more about the game. The game... Sufficiently difficult. Nice mix of combat and stealth at the same time. The juxtaposition of the cartoony graphics that seem like an old Nickelodeon movie and gory violence was definitely interesting. It made the game unique, at least graphically. I will look for further adventures of Rao. There is actually a further adventure. But what is next? I'm not entirely sure. I have a few ideas. I know, I was like, I'll get to that in a moment, but... I have a few ideas, but I'm not exactly sure which one I want to pick next. As for doing the side things, the whole collectibles, I might do that, but I'll definitely do that on my own time. By that I mean I'll probably like find where they are and go to that in the game that go to where the start of going to find them is and go get them and then do the brawler things that you unlock as a result afterwards. But that is all for now. That has been the Mark of Cree. And that was quite a game. Very, very frustrating at the end, but quite a good game. But that is all for now. What lies ahead? You'll just have to see and find out. Till next time.